All right, we're going to solve this system of equations. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and write it as a, uh, as a matrix because I like using matrices. So uh, 2, 3, 1, 7. Uh, 1, 4, negative 2, 11. And then that last equation is uh, negative 3, 1, 3, 6. At least the coefficients for that. And so now what I'm going to do is make some zeros. I think it'll be pretty easy to make zeros here. And I could use that 1 to get rid of the negative 2 and use that 1 to get rid of the 3. So first thing I'll do is 2 times uh, the first row plus the second row. Throw that into the second row. And next thing I do is I'll multiply this by uh, 3, and then I'll subtract that row. So I'll go 3 times row 1, and then I'll subtract row 3. And I just decided to do it that way, because I think that, that minimizes the, the number of uh, negatives that I have to use. So 2 times row 1 plus row 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. Uh, 2 times, uh, that's a 0. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 11, that gives me 25. I'm going to keep the first row as it is. It's nice I notice these are all divisible by 5. I'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, 3 times the first row minus the third row. So 2 times, uh, I'll just scratch it up here, 2 times 3, 3 times 3, 1 times 3, 7 times 3. And then I'm going to subtract. So 3 times the first row minus the second row. Oh, and notice this is 6 minus negative 3, so that's a positive 9. Uh, 9 minus 1 is 8. 3 minus 3 is 0. And then lastly, uh, 21 minus 16 is a 5. And then like I said, um, I'm going to divide this, but I'm just going to go uh, row 2 divided by 5. Shove it back into row 2. And that just gives me some friendlier numbers to work with. So 2, 3, 1, 7, and then a fifth of all this. So 1, 2, 0, 5, and then that third row is unaffected. But what I can do now is I can, uh, I can use this 2 to make this a to 0. And I'll do that by, uh, and I think I'm going to go row 3 minus 4 times row 2. Uh, because, I, again, I think that that will minimize negative numbers for me. So 4 times row 2, all of these are going to get multiplied by 4. So that makes this a 4, 8, 0. 5 times 4 is 20. And then I'm going to subtract it. So I'm going to subtract all of those. And if I do that, um, 9 minus 4 is 5. 8 minus 8 is 0. Good. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 20 is negative 15. Good, I know what X is. Uh, the other two rows are what they were before. Just use them. Uh, so now I know from this equation that 5X is negative 15, so X must be negative 3. I can take that information and plug it into this equation. 1X, so negative 3, plus 2Y equals 5. So add 3 to both sides, 2y equals 8. So y must equal 4, kind of looks like a 4. That looks a little more like a 4. And then uh, I can use both of those pieces of information with this equation to get uh, my z value. So 2 times x, x is negative 3, plus 3 times y, plus z equals 7. So this is a negative 6 plus a 12, and that's a 6 plus z. That looks like z is 1. So I can write my answer this way. You know, x equals negative 3 really explicitly, y equals 4, z equals 1. Or, if I wanted, I could also write it as the ordered triplet, x, y, z.